Hello everyone, this is William Armstrong to talk about Total AV. And this right here is Total AV, an antivirus company that is in the UK, and the Watt Web of Trust plugin rates it as not safe. But the YouTuber Nostalgia Nerd promotes Total AV when it is considered to be a potentially unwanted program. If we go to the WAP scorecard of it, you can see it is rated as the site is potentially harmful. It's gotten 2.5 stars out of 5, and is rated as a scam. There's only 26 reviews. There are 4 good reviews out of 26, which still doesn't really change that all that much. Here's one, two, three, four good reviews, and then there are some, there's more bad reviews than the good reviews, so it's been given a red white icon, which indicates not safe. If we launch this in a new incognito window, you can see it says scam. This, is, this site is potentially harmful. What Web of Trust will warn you of bad websites, and if we go to if we go to another bad site like PeterPopOut.org, What will automatically display a banner that says What warning: This site has some trust issues. Tread carefully. And Peter Pop-Up Ministries is another site that is flagged as suspicious. You can see it is flagged as that. It gets a not appropriate for children tag for some other reason. But I will tell you how WAP protects you online. As you can see, Peter pop up site is suspicious because he wants you to donate money for his ministries, which is which is just a horrible idea to ask money for. And where it says spring water, it'll say do not ingest the spring water. But then again, it says miracle spring water says do not ingest it. But there is a testimony, a testimonial that says drink the spring water, but it says do not ingest the miracle spring water. He sends you miracle spring water and other little trinkets that claim to cure your life of problems or health issues but that's false um, if we click on miracle spring water all we get is just miracle water it's all we get we really don't get anything other than just that He also wants you to donate but I really don't recommend donating to Peter Pop up because it's a fake ministry. And as you can see, the white icon changes color, but white is red, well, red is warning, dangerous, green is good, yellow, orange is suspicious, so I'll take you to see how the white colors work. So... This is Computer Hope that will talk about what Web of Trust, but this is what it looks like. I'll read it. ComputerHope.com is another site you can go to learn about computer stuff, and it's a good site. And this site's actually been around since 1998. I was a kid in 1998 at the time, and I'll tell you how old I was then. We'll go ahead and do the calculator. 19, we're going to do, whoops. 1992 minus 1998. I was six years old in 1998 at the time. I was six years old when this site was launched. And I'll read it. Short for Web of Trust, WAT is an internet browser service that helps identify websites that may be potential harm to your computer. 
after installing this plugin, if a website is not safe as open WAP displays a message over the website indicating it is not safe, it should be avoided. The picture shows an example of a WAP warning message. If you think the site is safe, this message can also be ignored. That's the old WAP warning, but here's the yellow reminder. It says here, warning, in November 2017, an investigative report by German television station NDR, Nordnetzer Rundfunk, I apologize for butchering that, but I know a little bit of German, at least our reader saying is the one German word, but Nordnetzer Rundfunk revealed that the web of trust was selling user information in violation of its terms of service. User activity was bundled with identifying information, such as the user's home address and phone number, and sold to third parties without consent or notification. For this reason, you should consider uninstalling what add-ons or other software if you're using them. For complete information, visit Google Translation of NDR's report. Here's the Google Translate. This is written by norddefunct.de or ndr.ee, or yeah, ndr.de. And this is talking about how WAP was spying on users and selling information. About how WAP got busted about it. About how the WAP extension was caught selling data. Things like that. So basically WAP got slapped on the wrist and got called out on its own oops. This is what the WAP warning screen looks like right there. This is the old warning screen. The very, very old one from early 2010. It will say warning that the site has a bad reputation. Um, here's another early screen look like a long time ago right there that says warning. This is a earlier preview of the WAP warning screen right here. This used to have a, a tinted curtain with the WAP O next to the word warning at the top left, and it would say warning. That's the old warning screen from back like 20, like 2008, 2009, um, early 2010-ish. And the WAP icon was called out for being or the WAP company has been called out for being like basically selling your customer data, but I'm trying to find the wa additional WAP warning screens like those that warn you shouldn't go to the site. Here's another old desi site design that talks about my my clean PC. And there's another variation of the WAP warning screen right there at the top. At this at this little thumbnail preview. And that's pretty much it on that WAP warning extension. It automatically just warns you to be careful of the sites you visit when you try to visit them. It'll warn you if it's dangerous or not. But that's about it for that. It's available on the Google Play Store for Android. iOS also has it. The Android app was shortly delisted from the Play Store before being reintroduced later. It's unclear why that the add-on was removed. It tells you the warning screen, know what to expect. It's available for Chrome, Firefox, and Opera. It's also available for the new Microsoft Edge as well, which is the Chromium-based Edge. The um, well, add-on was relisted re back to the Google Play Store in July 2020. There's also a Samsung internet extension released. So basically you have a Samsung WAP internet extension. Here's the WAP's donut indicator. You can see these three indicator dots. I'll read them to you. Green, safe. You can trust this site and can use it free from worry. Orange is questionable. The website aggressively promotes pop-ups and annoying ads contains content and organizations that are unethical. The site may also not have a clear privacy policy. Red, unsafe. 
This website presents a threat to your computer identity or money or is involved in a theft. Additionally, you may face legal consequences for consuming content presented on this site. We recommend you not visiting this site. So basically, Watt warns you the donut colors. So you got red, yellow, green, just like traffic lights. These three donut colors that tell you what to do and what not to do. So other than that, this is William Armstrong signing out. Take care, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.